for the last few months, I've parked myself in John chapter 17. It's the prayer that the disciples overheard Jesus praying the night that he was betrayed. And the truly stunning element of this prayer is that facing his uh, betrayal, his arrest, his trials, his torture, his crucifixion, and his death on the cross, facing the subsequent um, confusion, chaos, grief, and then the persecution of his disciples, Jesus prayed for them. And as the disciples represent you and me, he was praying for you and me the night that he was betrayed. And I've received enormous encouragement and blessing from knowing that today, when you and I are living in a time of unprecedented chaos, confusion, fear, disease, death, disasters, when many of us are locked down, we're um, almost afraid to go outside of our homes or to mingle in crowds or denied the fellowship of church. What a blessing to know that Jesus is praying for you. So what is he praying? So sign up for the live stream of my Cove seminar and find out. So I'll be speaking on November 6th, 7th, and 8th. I'll give three messages based on John chapter 17, and I'm going to share with you what God seems to have said to me through this passage. And because he's spoken to me through his word, I believe he also is going to speak to you. And as a result, all of us are going to be blessed and we're all going to draw nearer to his heart. So I look forward to seeing you virtually at the Cove live stream, November 6th, 7th, and 8th.